Shut up, legs. Hi, my name's Rochelle, and I'm training for Ironman Coeur d'Alene 2014, which is in 21 days. But by the time this video goes up, it'll be tomorrow, so it's only 20 days from now. Okay. Okay, I got a sunburn. Can you help me this with this? You see how bad it is? Hashtag burnt. Bye, Julia. Thank oh, you for yeah. eating all of my pop rocks. I didn't eat them all. You can have some. I just ate like three packets of Pop Rocks after riding my bike 100 miles today. That's fun. Okay, yesterday was the first triathlon of the year. So I was in Moses Lake. Actually yesterday, my mom and dad came to watch the race and my mom said that even when I was little and we lived in Moses Lake, she wouldn't let me swim in it because it was so gross. But apparently when you're 29 and have a wetsuit, it's totally fine. Sorry, the maid is here. Stop it. Gross! This is not going well. Oh, here, I got something for you. No. Read the list. This is my packing list. It's a good idea to make a list of all the things that you need for a triathlon before you do a triathlon because triathlons require a lot of equipment. Triathlon gear. And there's a list of things and I have it all crossed off except for my bike, which would sound like I forgot my bike, but obviously I didn't. Then just general things that you need for the weekend, like clothes and underwear and stuff. And then before leaving, it says, Make sure dishes are clean. You know why? Because Julie gets crabby if I leave dirty dishes all over the place. I'm just trying to be a considerate roommate. Number two, clean room-ish. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sweet floor. It's gross because of your hair. That's true. My hair falls out all the time and it's all over the floor. Gather floor sweepings. Make hair into doll. Leave on Julia's bed. Number seven, don't actually do that. Eat something so you're not crabby and no one will hate you. That list makes perfect sense. So on Friday we went to Moses Lake and we had some sushi for dinner. The rice plugged me up and I didn't poop at all yesterday, which was kind of awesome, but also a little disconcerting at the beginning because normally I go number two a lot before races. I swam in the lake, which as I've already discussed was pretty icky. The swim and out and back. I was fine on the way out, but the wind was blowing on the way back. Super, super choppy. For me, it felt like big waves, but I remembered from my time boogie boarding in California with my friends that you need to go under the waves to get out and then you come back on the waves. So I swam under the waves. Why are you laughing at me? That's not a joke, that happened. Because the waves were probably about this big. <laughs> they were, they were very small waves. Fun fact, at its deepest, it's only 38 feet. So that's gross. <laughs> But it covers a lot of area and it does kind of look pretty at certain angles, kind of like me. <laughs> Went up to transition. It was terrible. I couldn't get my wetsuit off and my wetsuit will not finally remove itself. I asked the spectating crowd not to tell my coach Annie how long it was taking me to transition. I swear it was at least five minutes. Got on my bike, simple, out and back, the long I-90 the whole time. Transitioned again, didn't really scope it out beforehand like you should if you are a responsible triathlete. Thankfully, my coach's husband, Pete, he was standing outside the transition area. and He's like, Rochelle, to the right, to the right. Really glad Pete was there because then I went the correct way this time. Went out on my run, ran like a 725 pace except for I've got some serious chafing issues. I tried running like this for a little while, but that just looks dumb. So it's kind of one of those things where you just gotta model through it. And I sprinted at the very, very end because I was trying to beat this really tall guy. Also, if I had that much energy to sprint at the end, maybe I should have been going faster during my run. It's hard to remember if you're training for an Ironman and then you do an Olympic distance triathlon, they're very different in terms of length. <laughs> distance. <laughs> distance. They are very different in terms of distance. Okay, so the really exciting part is that Annie won the whole thing because she's super, super fast and awesome. This is us at Iron Man last year. See how happy we look. That's because I was done with that dumb race. Ah, oh, shoot, doing it again. Okay, well, that was yesterday. Today, Lisa Vancy Pants and I rode our bikes for a billion miles. I did end up making it 100 because I added on at Fish Lake, but I did not do an off the bike run. That sounded really difficult. Lisa did though, so good for her. Okay, well, there's only like three weeks until Iron Man, so everybody should get really excited about that. And then everybody should come to the race and cheer for everyone who's doing the race, but specifically me, because I am needy that way. Mm -hmm. Get a cowbell, I love them. They're super fun, especially if you have a three-year-old in the house. I'm gonna go eat some more Pop Rocks now. Bye.